Yo, yo, yo. How we, how's it getting, people? Shell's Tastic Sports and your whole Shell's Tastic as usual, man. It's been, it's been about a week or so since I last shot the video, man. I've just been busy and stuff with other stuff, man. But um, how's everyone getting on, man? Um, obviously, there's quite a few things to talk about. So I'm going to just. This video is just going to be based on the announcement today or, well, I'll say yesterday. So it's early morning Wednesday now. Um, Savannah. Oh, Carissa, Carissa Shields versus Savannah Marshall. Face September the 10th, 02, London. I'm gonna try and get some tickets to that fight. I feel like I'm gonna, I need to be there, you know. Um, so I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely try to make that fight, you know, since it's here and the old two ain't too far from me. So, yeah, man. Well, you know, it's been rumored for months now. Obviously, both at the start of the year, Chris, Chris came over here and fought, and they, and then you know Savannah was there watching, and then vice versa. I think is it in March or April where Savannah was and Savannah was fighting. And Kalisha was over here. Um, obviously, they, they did it is to try to get these two like in the head to head to set up the fight, which has obviously worked now. I know Savannah had the operation on the hand, I think, or oh, shoulder, I can't remember which one. Um, so they delayed the fight back, but it's you know it's only the tenth of September, a couple months away. What's your guys' thoughts, man? I'm looking forward to it, man. It's a good fight. So I'm hyped for that, man. I'm glad that they announced it officially now. So I hope both fighters now, you know, I saw a bit of the back and forth in the press conferences. Um, you know, which pretty much has been how they've been. They've been going back and forth on Twitter, Instagram, or everything. So it's not no real, no real shock or surprise. Um, and obviously, I've seen a little glimpse of the little um, is it bit, what's the thing that John Nelson does? I can't remember what it's called. Is it? It's not behind the ropes. It's that when it's the little sit down. Like the name will come back to me or something. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. And I just saw a little glimpse of it just now, just before I did this video, and uh, it looks pretty nice. So it'll be interesting to see how that one plays as well when they do show the full video. I think they probably show that close to the fight week just to build up the anticipation um, for the fight. But um, yeah, man, what's your guys' thoughts, man? Anyway, what's your predictions for that fight? I'm going to leave my prediction closer to the fight. I mean, I can see, for me, I can see both fighters winning this fight. I can see a way for both fighters winning this fight. Um, because obviously, Calista Shields, obviously a more highly decorated amateur, winning two gold medals in the Olympics and other world championships and stuff like that. Um, well, she does have that sole defeat to um, Savannah in the, in the amateurs. Savannah's the only girl to beat ever. So, obviously, she wants to write that wrong. Um she feels hard done by by the feet, uh, but you know she said she was young. She was seventeen, I think. She said at the time, so I'm a completely different fighter. You know she she's got she's got very good boxing skills, very high at boxing IQ. Um, and she's done wonders for the sports for women, especially in the US. Um, and she calls herself the GOAT, obviously. Um, so yeah, no, it'll be interesting. It's good to see her over here. This is where I'm definitely gonna try and get tickets to get to that fight. Definitely, be nice to see her as well. But um, Savannah, obviously one of my own, the British. Um, she has she, and I think people get too caught up in her punching power. I mean, she for me is the biggest puncher in women's in the women's boxing, hands down. No one in punching like Savannah. So Savannah ices girls out the way I see the guys do. Like literally, I could imagine them sparring icing a guy literally, because the way she ices girls is different. Like she does it in a way. As soon as she hits girls, you just see that reaction. Like mm, they don't want them. And the way she hits them clean, and she's a slick fighter. I feel like. We get caught up. Some people can get caught up in the power. Savannah's very high IQ as well. You know, she do, she doesn't just swing and close her eyes and hope for a punch to land. She does it with bad intentions and she's setting up shots up. You know, she got a very good jab and she sets it up. She she doesn't always hit hard. She does hit a soft open target and then punches through the target really well. I think um, Peter Fury's done an amazing job of her since they linked up, man. But you can see the improvements in Savannah. So I can see Savannah definitely hurt because I just I feel I feel like. This in this in this fight, it's it's hard because it's not it's not. I know like if you were talking about the heavyweight division and the men, like you're talking about like Wilder. I feel like Wilder can get outboxed by anyone, but anyone at decent level can outbox him. But you got you got to stay alert for every second, every minute for thirty six minutes because eventually he can only he needs to land once and you're out. Savannah's not like that because Savannah can actually box as well. She can keep it long, keep Calista on the outside, and frustrate. And I feel like that would might be the game plan. To just keep it the first couple of rounds, keep it long, keep it on the jab, and keep frustrate Kursum because Kursum is the shorter girl, she's got the, the, the shorter reach. She's gonna have to come in and mix it up, and that's where Savannah will be able to control her because obviously Savannah can fight on the inside as well. She throws nice little uppercuts and stuff like that, so she's not just a, she's not just a one two from the outside and just shooting at right hand from distance. She can actually mix it up and throw uppercuts and little short hooks in 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 in, in the inside. So. 
it's an interesting fight because Croatia can't just come in there and think, all right, let me just get underneath the jab and start getting away. She's going to have to watch out for them uppercuts and little short left hooks and stuff in between as well. So I feel like she'll get hurt in this fight. But she might come through it. But I feel like Savannah, I just can't see Clarissa Shields going through this fight unscathed. And it'll be, and I think a lot of this fight could be down to if she can deal with the punching power of Savannah because if she can't, then, or if she gets hurt early on, it could deter her from coming in like that. So I feel like this fight is it's an interesting stylistic matchup and I'll probably break it down a bit more closer to the fight the way I see it. I watch the training camps, I get a view of how they how they're working out. But just watching of their previous fights, you know, stylistically, this could be is a very intriguing fight because they both have the style to kind of beat each other. But I just hope that Calusa Shields has almost got this kind of bravado thing that like she doesn't worry about Savannah because I feel like she goes into this fight not worrying about that punching power and, that, and thinking Savannah can really bang and not mix it up as well. She's in trouble. Like, you know, Savannah can do a lot more. But I feel like I feel like Grusha Shields is putting an act. She knows the threat of Savannah. She's not. She doesn't get to the top level elite and be the top amateur that she was when she was amateur to disrespect anyone or whatever. Obviously, she just believes she's the best, and that's it, and the best ever. I don't think you get to that level and that like, you know and downplay anyone's abilities because that for me will make her train her best ever. Because the, the one thing they say is when you have fear in cap, when you have fear, it actually makes you train better because you don't want to get hit with them shots and stuff like that. So. She knows Savannah's a murderous puncher and also she can box. I'm just, I hope she doesn't sleep on the boxing skills because Savannah will surprise her in there. That And she's a bit awkward as well, Savannah. As well. She's not just up and down. She's a bit awkward the way she boxes. So it'd be interesting how Clarissa deals with that puzzle. Because for me, this is the biggest puzzle, she, the most difficult puzzle she will ever come across like in a professional career. So it'd be interesting how she deals with that. And she, I don't think no woman she's fought has punched nowhere near as hard. That's Savannah. So it'd be interesting how she deals with that. And also it'd be interesting for, for Savannah to deal with someone that's going to be able to try to slip your shots and get inside and rough you up in the inside. How Savannah deals with that kind of thing as well. Because there was talks of Savannah also not dealing with the atmosphere and the pressure. That'd be interesting from Savannah's point. Kalisha she has been there before. She'd been in, she'd gone to the highest level in the Olympics, you know, the, the whole world watching you. Savannah hasn't been on that platform. So it'd be interesting if she does, if she freezes on the big stage or if she's overcome her nerves of the past. And she just now fully in, really fo locked in and focused and not worrying about the outside pressure and focusing on her game plan with Pat, um, Peter Fury. So it'll be interesting. So it's an interesting fight. I'm glad it's officially announced. And like I said, I'm going to try and make my way there and get tickets and get down there, man. It's a really good fight to watch. Um, but yeah, man, that's my thoughts on the fight. I will give more of a prediction closer to the fight. It's very hard. It really is a 50 50, genuinely 50 50. Because there's ways for both to win and it's going to be interesting from the outside and in the inside. I think the, the, the fight will be decided in the inside if she, so if each can take each other's power. But I think especially if Seclusa can take Savannah's pressure. Because if she can, Savannah's in the wall of problems. But if she hurts her and then deters her from coming in, she can box her out. She can box her through 12 or she could take her out. So it'll be interesting how, break, how the fight plans out. But I mean, I'm excited for this fight, man. It's a good fight. We've seen Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano a couple of months ago. Good for women's boxing. This is a, this is this is taking it up again, you know, continuing that of that fight. So yeah. Proud that it got been made and yeah, man, what do you guys think, man? Um what do you how do you think it will plan out? Who do you see winning and why? You know, leave it in the comments below. But yeah, that was that's my thoughts on it, man. I'm glad to see the announcement. But yeah, man, it's your boy Shells Tastic. Um I'll be back with another video very soon. Um Take care, like, subscribe, share, all of that beautiful stuff. And yeah, man, I'll be back with another video soon, man. Peace.